Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm gonna show y'all how to lay a block to the line. So I have my leads up, everything well established. So this is just like how you do it when you're going up the wall. If you're like just learning how to lay blocks, it's like start, you start by laying the walls in. So first thing you're gonna do is wanna spread some mortar. So I got the mortar over here. Um, if you're just starting out, it's harder to go forward. So you always wanna work backwards. So even this, it's harder to like whatever side your child's on, right? Like with the wall, you want your arm on the same side, it's easier to work backwards with the same arm. So that's how I always spread. You all, or if you were a lefty, you know, you left arm side, back and forth. All right. So when I spread the mortar, big slap, right? That way it sticks. I put my child on a 45 to the wall like 45 degrees this way right twist my nose and slide out so i push down and slide back at the same time it's like a slice motion so pushing down and sliding back at the same time right and right across when you get better at it you can come this way too you can go both ways but if you're just starting out, it is easier to work back. Sometimes you get rebar like that, you cut your fingers like I just did, so watch out for that. Okay, the other side. It's a little different. So when you use a trowel, right, you don't want to be gripping it like, rah, like, no, it's all in your fingers. When I when I do this part, I'm literally holding it like that with one, my two fingers and my thumb. So I come here, you're gonna do the same thing, right? You still see me good. Just do the same thing, you want a 45, but the other way, okay? Coming off this way. Find your nose, right? Twist in the same same motion. I was a little light there because my mud fell off, so. Okay, another thing. To the wall, right? You don't want to hold your trap, like if this is the wall, you don't want to hold it straight up and down. You want to angle it back too. So it's push down like that. So it's, I always think about it in 45 degrees. So my trowel, not only on 45 here, twisting, it's also like 45 degrees when you slide down. If you notice, that's the angle, like a 45 degree angle that this smooth part is, and that gets the stick. All right, just this quick. Also, yeah, when you get better at it, you can work back the other way like that too. So both ways, but I never spread like this. That's dumb. So always keep your arm same side of your wall. If you're normally laying block, swipe in, swipe out, flick the top. Right, mud's a little wet, but it's okay. If you're laying this way, I swipe in, I come back under here and put that on there. All right. If you're a good block layer, you never put your trowel down. But for this, we're just teaching you how to do it. We'll do the basic way first. So uh, here you go. Now, when I do it, I like just so you're learning too. You see how I'm twisting it, right? It's all on, my, all on your wrist, all right? I match that back lip up right there, okay? And I'm leaned back away from the line. So I let that sit right there, okay? Now, I want your trowel clean. You wanna see what you're doing, right? So you wanna match the corner up here and here. So what I do, since I am matched back there, tap it down to the same height as this one. Then you tap it down in, tap it down in. You want to think of this as like a, uh, I don't know. I just do that every time. There's some ways you can think about it a little differently. You see these arrows? Red, red, blue, blue, black, black. So I think of it as like a teeter-totter, right? So if, uh, this corner's too low, right? And this one's too high. You would pick up 
on this red corner and tap down on this and pick it up okay if uh, this corner was uh, too high and this was too low or like you're lipping in the back here if you're lipping in the back what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the center boop 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 and that's gonna turn the block to match up the bottom right and that's the same thing over here if you need like if this corner was out or some you could pick this up tap it down it would pick this corner up and put that corner down so it also depends on that so i think of it like a teeter-totter like that so either way but you always got to grab the other side and it's literally only one or the other pretty much or even this way you know but i pick up this like the center you know you'll figure it out as you go you can't spread it on the wall you can spread it off the wall, which I don't ever do, but I'll show you how to do that. You're starting out, whatever. And you can spread the wall, right? But you can't get it to stick. Another thing, if you can't get it to stick, you're not working your fingers right. See that? That's how I work my trowel right there. I only use those two fingers and my thumb. And it's right on the handle part. That's where I got like the most control with this thing. All right. So you can just go like that, click, 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 good to go. Same thing, click, click, click. And so that's like super beginner. And then you just slip it on the wall. And you wanna, so this is a perfect example of what I was just talking about. I'm too low here, I'm too high here. So you pick up on this side, and it puts it right back to where it's supposed to go. Perfect pipe, right? So what are doing here? Not lipping, reusing my mud. The biggest thing with this too, when you're when you're uh, trying to head these blocks, just put some mud on there. Like, there's like these little creases in there, or if it is a sash, you just have to literally smack some mud in there it makes a a real difference trying to get it on the outside then make sure you swipe in before you try and come out but anyway I'm good here right so I'm gonna try to pick up on this side so I don't knock it down tap over here and it brings it right to my line when you're laying here you want to be able to have like a trowel length in there just barely enough and that's in case you're laying with other people and you don't piss them off all right spread them on the wall now this is how you should lay it as you get better you should never really put your trowel down case scenario put your trowel on the walk block you just laid so it's right there but when I do it right I go from here and I swing it around like that and I catch it with my two fingers right so you just buttered your block right swing it around and then I pick it up like this right you got to keep your trowel point up where you're gonna hit your other block that mud what else am I going to show you all right bond bond so when you're in the middle of the wall okay this is how you know if you're ahead or if you're back so there's these little holes here see that hole that's the center web of these blocks so this block right if you got another block the center web of, of the block will lay center of this and uh, bring it over here so if you look down the block here right I got a big space on this side and a little space on this side so that means I need to be a little ahead I'm about a half inch behind bond which is okay I like bigger gaps over there you know what I mean I don't like my closer to be pin pin joints so it ain't a big deal 
but that's how you tell where you're at so make sure the centers hit there i'm just gonna lay these last three pretty quick just so you uh can get an idea of what i'm doing all right I was getting close to being low on that last one, so put a little extra mud here. Another thing you can do if you're getting low, you can cross web there, and that'll help your block stay up to the line. I was like just barely hitting it there, so now it's time to make sure I don't fall. See, uh, I, I always grip the center of this, and I was talking about whatever, but that, however I grip it, I am teetering it that way. I mean, you don't have to do it like that. I grab it by the middle, but I just use that as like the, to show you what to do. Always use that mud, slap, slap, just get that so it sticks. And I'm ending on a piece over here. Oh wow. Barely cut it. Almost a little low, but we are fine. Uh -oh. All right, so when you ever close up a wall like this, you, you do these things called double union. All right, so I don't put joints too big on here, okay? Just like that, just slap some mud on there just so it's there you know and uh that's because if you make it stick out like normal it's just gonna get flopped right off it's just gonna fall off and fall down your core it was a waste of time to even put it on there so so you see that i pretty much just barely put a head joint on there you know what i mean it's just there okay then here see my mud board this is called a double union so you do the same thing with this barely put it on there because it's gonna get pushed around you don't want the mud joint to fall off you want it to smush together so it's real small it's like basically a half joint two halves make a hole you know what I mean this is my piece side but uh Notice the joints did not fall out right and uh, they're still there so there's still mud in there they didn't get oh I didn't even put it on I forgot to move it didn't I my bad anyway but you do that so there's still mud in here it didn't squish your joints out it didn't make them fall all over the place they still exist and that's it that is how you lay block to a straight line. All right, so thanks for watching. If you got any questions, just leave them in the comments. I will be happy to answer them. Um, that's about it for stuff I know about laying the block to the string line.